Hey guys, it's Ernestine here and we are back with another video and I know you guys seen by the title that I'm doing this braided hairstyle. I am a beginner braider y'all so the fact that these braids turned out looking this good, I think I did that. The hair gel I used was the BLT, I'll put it on the screen. Um, then I had some hair clips of course, rubber bands, um, I used clear beads and then i had a moisturizer for my hair because i just recently dyed and ble well, bleached and dyed my hair so i used a moisturizer and i will be putting all these things on the screen so i had about 15 boxes in the back i didn't really care about how the back looked if i'm being honest with you guys i was more so concerned about the braids in the front so i did 12 braids on top of my head and then 15 of the plaits in the back. I'm a pre-parter type of girl. I don't know how people be doing their plaits, their braids with anything, just, you know, going row by row. I have to pre-part everything because I need to know the exact size. Call me crazy, but... Let me know in the comments if I'm the only one. Like, do you have to pre-part your hair when you do your hair, y'all? PSA, if you are here to have me teach you how to braid, baby, this is not where you're supposed to be because I can barely braid myself, okay? But I, how I started the braid, I took a small section of hair at the beginning and I split it into three and then I plaited it three times with just the hair and then I just began adding hair like little by little as I went back and be sure to put my hands going back instead of like directly on top of the braid i don't know how to explain that but yes sorry about the sound
When I got to the top, baby, I was just like, oh, let me try something different. So I just had to do a little crisscross at the top to test my abilities. So I did the part going back regular and then I split it going, um, I split it going horizontally. And then I um, braided back the first two and I left the other ones alone. And then I went ahead and went back to the first one and crossed over and continued braiding back from the opposite side rather than the side it was supposed to be on and you guys will see that it ends up being a little crisscross it wasn't perfect it's not my favorite thing on my head because the the color itself is uh, but i think it turned out pretty okay for it to be my first time
Now, when it comes to the beads, um, I just use regular clear beads. I kind of wish I would have used the wooden ones, but the clear ones did it for me. So I took gel and I put it at the end of my hair and I looped my hair through the little loopy thingy. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. And then I went ahead and pushed the beads up and make sure that you do not pull it too far back because they will fall out of your head. <laughs> and then I took the last little bead and I took my end of the strand of my hair and I measured it. And then I looped it around. I didn't loop it through, but I looped it around the last bead. And I took a band, uh, not a band-aid, y'all. <laughs> I took a rubber band and I wrapped it around it quite a few times. Um, I know I did it fast, but it's literally just wrapping it around it. Like, it's, it's so easy. Until it's tight, because when you pull on it, you don't want it to come loose. And that is how I did them. This style didn't take me long. I just kept stopping and starting because I had a lot of things going on. But please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.